So, today we are going to be talking about Goku vs. Saitama. Yeah. And you can, you can all hate me, hate me later. But, I have some good points I want to make and I am joined by... Batman. Okay, Batman. So, why don't you start off with why you think Goku could win the fight? Personally, I just think he'll win the fight. Because honestly, his his speeds are much better. Yeah, this much better. Yeah. I mean, especially if like you like you were telling me pre video, like like how we talked about this to make sure we got our facts straight and everything. The manga is way different from the Dragon Ball Z anime. The feats are much more clear. Yeah, and something else I want to point out is that we are very aware that Saitama beat very strong characters easily. But the thing is, he beat characters that Goku, that their feet, are feet the characters that Goku could beat easily. If I had to put Baruch, Baruch, well, how do you say his name? I, I'm terrible with names. Baruch, I think? Baruch, yeah. If I had to put him at a strength level for Dragon Ball, I would put him at most a high level Namek Saga character like Ginyu or Akum. I, I would say the same. And I remember the first episode of One Punch Man, I remember that character that looked like Piccolo. Mm. He he even like he even did like a crusher ball looking attack. Yeah, it was I mean, very awkward to me. Yeah. But a uh, point we wanna make is that we know he's a gag character, but if you compare the feet of Saitama, it's like Goku could do that just as easily. In that Goku could probably do that easily, even more easily. Because the character Saitama is so powerful for beating, he only beats because he's so much stronger than them. It's like, just because he's ten times like Goku could beat any of those people, too. And like, right, don't right. tell me for a second Goku can't beat Burroughs, because if you do, that's a complete joke. I, I don't think Burroughs is anywhere close to Pathrakun. Yeah, anyway. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, and a point I want to make is that we, you know, also, Saitama is a gag character. So, you know, from a storytelling standpoint, he is going to win every single fight. He's a joke. He's a, One Punch Man is a parody of American comics and shonen manga. And superheroes and characters like Goku, Naruto, Luffy, Ichigo... Even some parts of fairy tale is a parody of that. It's a parody of those types of theory, right? Right. Just I mean, look at his costume. Point. It's like a that costume is a complete Superman parody. The what? The costume. Don't you see how it could kind of be a Superman parody? Um, I think the One Punch thing is sort of this is sort of a Superman parody thing too. If and the really con- yeah, it. just the point it's though like, is it looks like a Superman punch when he does it. Yeah, and also you have to realize that Saitama's idea of Saitama is still a normal being. Like his body is still normal. It's just incredibly powerful. Like Saitama is still one hundred percent human. Like if you throw Saitama into the Goku with the punch Saitama into the atmosphere Saitama's in a lot of trouble if he doesn't land on the moon. Because Saitama can't fly. Can't? Well, I mean, like, that was one of the jokes, though, in the show, right? Like, he flew in the first episode, but then... No, he was actually episode, jumping. He He's he jumping so high. That's not what I understood. No, but that... No, he actually did fly. He, he didn't even look like he jumped. He just, like, flew up there and then, like stood there for a second, and then punched the dude. True, yeah, he did, but the point, though, is that, like, even when he punched the meteor, he's jumping, you know what I mean? True, it did look like he jumped. He did, dude, you saw the crash in the ground as he pressed his leg right. down. Like, you saw the ground shatter from the force of his jump. Right. I mean, and by the way, we're beautifully animated, beautiful. But oh, the yeah. thing is, is that when he jumped up, and he even said it in episode, in like, that final battle. He can't fly. That was very clear. He had to put, he had to push himself off the moon. If you punch him into the air and he's like floating there in the atmosphere, there's no gravity. So, there, so he can't jump again. You could tell on the moon, like, they, they obviously, they try to make it obvious that he's, 
jumping from the looks of it. Yeah. Because when he jumped off the moon, you could see that little small crater. Yeah, I mean, the like, so the point I'm making, off. though, is that Goku gets him in the air, Saitama's dead. I'm sorry, he's dead. He stands no chance against Goku if he gets in the air. He doesn't. Is he just wide open for attack? Then no, guys. Like, Tom is not taking a Kamehameha from a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. He's not taking a Kamehameha from a Beyond God Saiyan. What did you call it again? Saiyan Beyond God. That's what it is. I keep yeah. forgetting the name. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he's not even taking it from Saiyan Beyond God. I, the point I'm trying to make is, while Saitama is incredibly powerful, I feel a lot, a big problem with him is that he is overhyped. If you're looking at his face, logically, the characters he one shotting, and you really are going to tell me Boros is stronger than Cell. If you can give me legitimate evidence, he can destroy the planet. Cell can debatably, it is debatable by the way, destroy the solar system. It was stated in the manga he could do it. Whether or not he was bluffing is a whole other topic. But, the point is... I have, that, I have calculations that I, I mean, I, you've, I've even done them before that prove that Goku could just shatter the Earth from one punch if we were speaking logically. With that. Yeah, but the right. point where I want to make it is it stated in power. Cell. It's stated in the Cell arc by Cell, I could destroy the entire solar system. And if you are meaning to tell me Bruce and Boros can meet a character that can destroy the solar system, you're crazy. Because he can't. He could not. No. He, his idea, his most powerful feat is an attack that could destroy the Earth. Now, do I think Saitama could maybe, could be, well, no, I think he couldn't. Because guess, guess who else could destroy the Earth? Saiyan Saga Vegeta could destroy the Earth. Guess who else could destroy a planet? Or debatably Master Roshi could probably do it in Dragon Ball. It's debatable. It is debatable because he did destroy the moon. He destroyed the moon. I mean, he can't fly. So why, he can't survive in space. So why would he even attempt it? Oh, yeah, and I also, I also know, I mean, I know that power levels are basically useless, but I'm just going to say right Earlier now, on in the series, they actually are very useful. Yeah, but, like, just to say, power levels based, I mean, Master Issue's power level was like 180 when he destroyed that moon, and I think if you compare that to power levels... Unofficial uh, power levels, by the way. Master. Unofficial. Yeah, it, well, well, no, it wasn't. It was, uh, Kamzenshi, right? Yeah, but they remembered... And then you had the unofficial and the official power levels. I was looking at the officials. Oh, yeah, the Toriyama came out and gave power levels for everything up to that point. Yeah, Max yeah. Lurchies was 180 when he blasted the moon. Yeah, so the, but the point is, is that you have to realize Max Lurchies could arguably destroy a planet. It's like, destroying a planet is nothing in Dragon Ball. But the thing is, people seem to forget how easily they can do that due to the fact that they never do it. And Goku and Vegeta are obviously trying to make that clear. Like, they're trying to make that very clear in Super, especially with that Goku vs. Beerus fight. They're making it very clear how easily the character can destroy a planet. Right. I just look at Goku and Beerus. They were just, they destroyed a planet when they punched it, when their fists collided. Like, are you telling me Saitama can one shot and talk, could, could destroy a planet just by clashing Vic with somebody else? It also, mind you, the fist did not come in contact with the planet at all, and they were actually pretty far away from the planet. Yeah, it was like a couple, it was, like, it was miles away. And they did their fist of the shockwave destroyed it. Now, Saitama biggest feat, and I'm going off of the anime, mind you, in this video we are going out at, we are going off of the anime <coughs> annotation only, which is currently 12 episodes, season 1. And, Saitama's biggest date is a, what, serious style, serious punch, right? It was like, it was like serious style consecutive punch. Yeah, I'm the, still, what I, what I watched, where I watched it, it was called the serious punch. It was just Saitama doing a serious, like, I'm pissed off, here by full power kind of punch. And he, I mean, like, um, we're just gonna say, we know that was not his full power, he said it was. Oh yeah, we know, we know, but, but, but it was a, still a serious, only, he was still like, okay, I, I, I can't joke around here. Right. Like, he was still punching, but he even said afterwards, he was a little, he was unsatisfied, you know what I mean? Right. But he still, it still took two punches to kill Burr. Burr, so we're by no means saying that Tom is weak. In fact, if I had to put him at a level, or if I had to legitly, when I'm really thinking I put him at a level, 
at most, I would put it at like sex first born freezer. I think that's fair. I think first born freezer is fair. I think again, it honestly it just and because when you really think about it, I take back what I said that him I there. I mean, first born freezer, first born freezer even seems like we're jumping the gun a little because yeah, first no, but the reason I put him at first born freezer because we had to begin his full power and very clear to be vastly above what we saw. And since Frida is vastly above our original estimate with being around the surface of Raccoon. I mean, I know that, but like, I'm I like, mean, it's kind of fair. Frida still it's seems like a... stronger than what we saw, so I'm just adding in the possible strength he had and putting him around first form Frieza. I, I get what you're saying, but first I'm... form Frieza still seems like a jump considering first form Frieza just has to raise his finger to blow a flame. True, but I'm saying... If he was able to, with two, with, in one serious punch, stop an attack that could destroy the Earth with one punch, you're, w- without his full power, when you achieve, it was implied that was pretty easy for him. Like, that was like, it wasn't a, it was a right. little bit of a workout. And you're telling me you don't think he would give first four Frieza a run for his money? I think he would give, I think he would give first four Frieza a very hard time. If he went completely all out, if he was like using like everything. Oh, if he was going out. completely all out. It's That's what I think. I, 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 I I'm say, not saying. Like, I'm not going saying. Off of the es- going off of an estimated full power, it could be around first form freeze or possibly above that. Like we understand how strong this guy possibly is. We are by no means saying he cannot beat Goku. We are by no means saying that. We are saying based off of what we've seen, he can't beat Goku. But going Correct. off of like a stunt, uh, if we're if I'm going to assume, if I had to assume, I think he may be able to be Goku. If I was going off of my assumption, based off of how strong I think he is, from what I assume, from like you know, just from my guess, a uh, completely wild, uneducated, no reasoning, I think he may be able to be Goku. Like if I'm just taking a wild guess, then his full power is probably ridiculous. We're not saying he can increase. We're just saying with what with the his maximum power in use so far. He can't be, he can't be Goku, because Goku is beating people that can destroy worlds in one hit. It, even though it's non canon, remember Fre- Remember what happened to Frieza in Fusion Reborn? Yeah. And so let's compare it. Fre- Frieza is able to generate an attack that could destroy the Earth just as e- easily as I t- in his first form. Just as easily as Saitama could stop an attack that could destroy the Earth, correct? Right. Can we agree on that? Because the Estrella wasn't too serious. Estrella was serious when he destroyed Planet of Vegeta, but not too serious, right? He was laughing about it. He was, yeah, but Saitama when he did it was the same way. He was like, this is, he was, he was serious, but he was like, this is so much fun. Like, he was, he was still right. enjoying it, you know what I mean? You see the point I'm trying to make? Like, they're both incredibly powerful, but when you really think about it, Gohan would be able to one-shot that Frieza. The, especially, even in Red Dressing F, if Frieza had it trained, Gohan could have beaten him in one attack. It was, Bulma even said it in the movie, you can beat him, can't you? And he said, I don't know about that anymore. Like, Gohan was like, if he was just as, if he was as strong as he was on Namek, easily. Gohan knew that for a fact. Right, right. I go, Piccolo could have been in, Tien could have been in, it's like, you have to realize, he's, a, he's around the level of Frieza. That's the estimated level of, like, full power. And j- we're not talking about Frieza from Resurrection of F, he's around... Yeah, we're talking, in case you for some god, god or no reason, think we're talking about that Frieza. <laughs> right. We're talking about Frieza from Namek, and the thing that people need to understand is that Saitama, I'm going to keep on repeating it. Saitama, if his feet are comparable to Frieza's feet, Gohan can one, Gohan can one shot Frieza. You realize how much stronger Goku and Vegeta are in their base forms right now than Gohan? They could one shot Gohan. No, they don't even know to one shot Gohan. They could pretty much flick him. I, well, I said, I, and by Gohan, once again, I want to make very clear, I do not mean Mystic Gohan. They are, I know for a fact, they're not one shot a Mystic Gohan, and they're basic. We are by no means saying that. Well, I mean, like, I don't that, know about that. No, no I don't know. I'm just saying they're not one. I think they'll beat him. I, they'll beat him relatively easily. I'm just, I'm just saying they're not just going, like, like, comma, one punch, like, 
done. So I can miss like a boost out of a character. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying right now, yeah, they could one shot Gohan. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like Gohan could one shot Frieza and Saitama is around the level of Namek Saga Frieza in, in our opinion. That's something we want to make clear. This video is all our opinion and really, I believe, you can disagree with Anime F4 if you want and then you can get some of your points, but I just want to make sure I'm clear that I think a lot of the problem with Saitama is he's overhyped, and a lot of people don't seem to understand that when people are putting him in a death battle, you need to take away the gag character thing. You need to only get their feet. We all know, in a, if there was a story, he would win. We all know that. Um, I won't disagree, but I will say you're somewhat right, and like, for the most part, but a lot of the people just, they think about the fact that he's killing them with one punch, and then they just apply that to anyone. That's yeah. what they do. They don't, they don't even consider... That's the point. That's why a lot of people say he's a parody. He's a parody manga. He's a parody character. His ability is to one-shot people. I'm like, no. He just so much... His power isn't one-shotting people. That's, that, that's not through territory. Yeah, I went there. Not through power to one-shot people with frenzy and bullshit. But the point is that... <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. But the point is, is that Saitama is just so strong he can one shot these people because the power gap is so big. And pe people seem to compare, like, in the gore and, like, blood, the fact that people, these people are exploited when he punches them. No. The reason why Goku doesn't do that is because Dragon Ball Z is not meant to be gory. If you one shot somebody, yeah. if anything, they're just going to be knocked out. It, it, it has happened. Like, that's, you know, it has happened. That's how they. That's how, that was how they censored Bethel Jr. and Bethel are. Right. Go on, you punch them and they exploded. The point I'm we're making here is that Dragon Ball Z is, is, is a different, completely different type of theory. It's, it's aimed towards a younger audience. And Toriyama does not want to show people getting blown up. I did, and it's also not a madhouse production. You have to realize that, like, Toei could not afford to show something like that every episode. You see, to, to show people's body just blowing up like that every episode. They couldn't afford to do that. They can't. They can't. Sue because the way they produce videos, they make it so that so they censor it to a certain point, no matter what it is. Yeah, and even recently, Toei, look at Toei, they've been censoring out blood, I mean, like, Saitama is just making people blow up, I mean, you also need to understand, that's just, that's, 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 that's one of the things that, you know, I mean, I like to call demonstration. That's the, that how big way of demonstrating how much stronger he is, that his punches are so strong, that they're, that they're just causing explosion. Like, in Dragon Ball, they don't still need to do that because they already have many other examples of how strong these people are. Like, the key blast, the, the explosion that they're causing with their keys, like, the shock waves. Like, they don't need it, like, to have somebody's head blow up to prove the guy's strong. Yeah, you said, um, you said before, I think you mentioned to it, mentioned it to me. This was way back when it actually happened, though. But, Toei censored the scene where Zoro absorbed all of Luffy's pain. They censored the blood, even though it was still alive. They no, they did not censor. No, they censored a white beard's head getting blown off. Spoiler, by the way. <laughs> How much did they censor, though? Uh, you, well... You, I remember you telling me there were these... Really he blew... Half his censored. face was missing. So what did you think? I know, but, like, there were lots of other scenes you told me about them censoring. No, but they're, they're, they censored the Gohan scene. When Gohan was getting shot by Frieza, they censored that. I mean, Toei well, obviously, did a lot of things. Obviously that. I mean, blood should have poured out of those holes. Yeah, no, but they censored it for some reason. Like they in dra and in and in One Piece, they also censored um. What was it? I think they I think they censored. They kind of censored when Zoro cut Pika because they had like it turned like purple and stuff. They had like the purple background and instead of it just being normal colored with blood. Right. Like, they still kept the blood, dude. You can't really take the blood out of a scene like that. But the point is that Toei isn't a company that was, especially with a series they're producing, One Piece, Dragon Ball, these are more, these are series that are aimed towards a more broad age radius. Age radius. Like, it, they're more for all ages. You know what I mean? 
to, like, Toriyama and Oda aren't making a series, like, where they're, like, expecting, like, older people to watch it. They're, like, I'm expecting a 50-year-old to be able to watch it with a 35-year-old father and still, and both get equal enjoyment. Well, but, no, they're sort of expecting, like, a 10 to 12 year old No, when you see it. what I mean, they're, they're saying that they would yeah. expect anybody to be able to watch it, but maybe the older fans will get more of a deeper meaning, the thing with deeper meaning. But when it comes to right. visuals, they have that sense to be for anybody. That's what people don't seem to get. In One Punch Man, however, he's just making it for a certain group of people. A certain age. I also feel it, that it's commonly overhyped. Especially because, like, look at how well the manga did. If you look at the snail, it outdid One Piece, Naruto, it outdid Naruto and Attack on Titan in the U.S. I mean, that's a pretty, that's a big deal. It is. Like, Naruto and Attack on Titan are some of the most popular selling mangas in the U.S. It outdid it. And it had, like, three volumes. Like, that's ridiculous. Right. So the hype from it is there. Like, it's the same thing with Goku vs. Naruto. It's like, since people like the character more when they say he can win, guess what? I, I love Goku. Amazing character. Want to know something? I like Luffy more. I do. I think he's a much, much more better written character and a much more enjoyable character. Goku's not that well written character in my opinion. I still like him, but and do I think and do I go around saying look we could be Goku? Hell no. That'd be stupid of me to say that. Mm-hmm. Like, can you name a character you like more than Goku? I could. I could say, Gurren Lagann. And tip. I remember watching Gurren Lagann, and I enjoyed that final, that final like robot. The no, but I'm had. saying you can name that character like, that you like more than Goku, right? Like, this robot was like tossing galaxies, but I yeah. still cannot. The, he, the robot even had an attack called the Big Bang that they said could have blown up the universe. But I still cannot deny that. I mean, those punches were basically tearing apart the universe. You can't, you can't just say that. You know, that's like, the point, though. The point I want to make is that just because you like a character, that means they can beat another character. I mean, like, yeah, without that robot, they'd be screwed. Want to know who I like? I love... I Bleach is one of my least favorite out of all the... Some of the Bleach is my least favorite of all the big animes. I have, like, Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball. That's also another one. Like, I actually really like Bleach because of Ichigo how... Ichigo could... Yeah, but could eat. Luffy can't beat Ichigo. Naruto probably can't be easy to go. This is my opinion, by the way. But, but, I, but Goku yeah, can like, definitely I, be easy to go. I could, de- like, I could definitely say I love each group's character. If the anime would have continued, it would definitely be my favorite anime because I just like the gloominess it has around it. Yeah. It has more of a darker feeling than other anime. Yeah. So the thing but is, like, we just want to make it clear, but I don't really want to go off off topic too much. We can talk about it off air, but the thing I want to really want to end this out with is because we would place Saitama around the level of a Namek Saga character like first form Namek Saga Frieza. And if you we're putting him up against Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku is ridiculous, alright? He's not winning that fight. I'm sorry, he's not. Right. But but you know what? He's still a great character. One Punch Man is amazing. Like I I I could go I, I, I this video could go on for about two hours if we wanted it to we, we could go on for two hours about why we love one month man right? True. True. I mean, it's, it's, I it's, loved a, episode seven. It, it's beautiful. He Saitama's an amazing character. I love it. I know I stopped my live reaction, but the other thing I it was too much to handle. It was too many videos, especially on a Sunday with Dragon Ball and just it was too much. But you have to realize. Saitama's amazing. I love his character. I love how in episode 7 he takes the blame. Like, he tried to start stealing all the credit so, he'll, so they'll recognize the other heroes instead of him. That was amazing. Dude, Saitama's a much better character than Goku in terms of writing. Like, that was something Goku would... a more would... noble character in a way. Yeah, well, he's much better written. Like, that was something Toriyama would never have a character do. In Dragon Ball, you would just be like, huh, I'm the strongest. Like, this is a great... Like, one point he was like... He was like, who cares? I'm just a hero for fun. Like, he was a well, hero I mean, for fun. Toriyama hobbies. has Goku... Toriyama has Goku do that when it comes to Mr. Satan. True, but that's different. But he, 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 he didn't care, but he looked to everybody else. He's like, I'm go... Even to Vegeta, he's like, I'm stronger than you. You know what I mean? Right. 
They come and walk around what? He's stronger than all the F class hero, but he's a C class? Like Goku would not do that. Well, Goku, no longer Goku C-class, would want to be S class now. C class. But yeah, he's like Goku would be like, I need to be number one S class, I'm stronger than all of you, I deserve it, you know what I mean? True. Goku would want that position just to just because he wants to show off his how big his fighting boner is. The point he is, he wouldn't want it because of that. He would just want it so he could fight the stronger enemy. Yeah, but the point I want to make is that Takama is an amazing character, and we are by no means saying he's not good. We are by no means saying that. We just don't think he can be Goku. We've given our opinion as to why, and we've gone on for a while. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Anime export. Did you have any last words? Um, you got my name wrong. I'm Batman. True, you are Batman. But yeah, guys, peace out. Have a great day.